UK YouTubers. This is Joe from Mars Channel TV. Another real quick game of interplanetary ice pie going on here today, and we're back on Mars. We're not in Gale Crater. We are looking at this image, which is PIA two two zero five two, Squiggles in Hellas Planetia. Okay, Planetia. Uh, right, <laughs> and the official explanation for this uh, is that basically these are caused by. Um, carbon dioxide melting apparently and into kind of little boulders and then sliding down this slope here now you can check the uh, page out yourself I'll leave a link below uh, this is the bit you want to read here obviously uh, it says here look uh, just like earth high altitude regions on Mars are covered with frost in winter however the winter frost on Mars is made of carbon dioxide ice dry ice instead of water ice we believe linear gullies are the result of this dry ice breaking apart into blocks, which then slide or roll down the warmer sandy slopes, sublima sublimating and carving as they go. Right, okay. Uh, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, it may well be true. I'm not saying it isn't true, um, but that is just a theory they have, and uh, it's not proven, as many of these things are. Here's the... The other image if you click on if you go down and click on this image here you get this one and this gives you a kind of more of an overview of the area and it, this is kind of a follow-up really from that video I did uh, uh, about a week ago uh, the crazy scars on Mars which are also supposed supposedly caused by carbon dioxide or something like that but th that's well worth looking at and I'll, I'll have a link to that video at the end of this one if you haven't seen that already so you can just click straight on it at the end of the video on the card and it'll take you straight to it that's well worth looking at because those are really weird. Those black scars that kind of look like someone's drawn on the photograph with a crayon or something. Absolutely insane. So do check that out if you haven't. This is a kind of a follow-up to that. I'm not saying these are artificial, um, but they're interesting either way, whether you think they're artificial or not. And uh, this lets you kind of zoom in quite a long way here. And you can see a whole line of these... Uh, or kind of little gullies or, or track marks or whatever you want to call them. Um, let me show you in the folder, then we can, then we can zoom in a bit closer. Um, the image quality isn't terrible, it's not great. It's pretty good. It's, I would say, average for a high rise. It's a little bit um, a bit choppy up here for some reason. Don't know why that is. You've got these weird lines coming down, like scan lines. It, it looks like it's been downgraded a bit, but uh, there we are. But yeah, you have all these squiggles, as they call them, coming down this slope. And uh, they all seem to be quite evenly spaced, which I thought was really odd. Uh, you'd think if these were just kind of boulders of, of dry ice kind of falling off this overhang here, or coming out from underneath it here, that they would be a lot more kind of randomly spaced, and they wouldn't all be kind of like in fairly evenly spaced parallels like this. You see how even these are? I mean, they're not completely even, of course. These two are very uh, much wider apart here. Let's have a look at the larger image because that kind of doesn't really show you all of it and it's a bit hard to get that in context because you can't really work out what you're looking at there. Let's have a look at this one because that gives you a general idea of the, of the topography up above here. And you've also got more of these weird scars and black marks like I showed in that other video that I mentioned. Um, up here, I mean these are weird. Very weird indeed. More of these kind of weird scars and, and tracks. There's some more little tracks up here which have come out from under this overhang. And you've got some more tracks up here. But some of them are going kind of latitudinally, not longitudinally. It's, it's weird. And some of them kind of go round in a... I mean, look at that one. I mean, that one goes kind of off there and then comes out. That's weird. That is really weird, and they're coming out from... Now, I thought that maybe some of these were caused by uh, dust devils, and probably a lot of them are. But um, got some more tracks here. They're a bit vague, but there's a whole load of tracks here that have come out from there. But if how would a dust devil go underneath there and come out there? Um, very odd indeed. But the main ones are down here. There's, there's a, some more here. I'll have a link to this image also. You can get this from the main page anyway. So, um, But yeah, here they are. You can actually see them in better kind of context here because you can see the end of them here where it gets much more narrow at the end and then kind of stops very strange multiple tracks 
I have done videos about strange tracks on Mars before and rolling rocks and that sort of thing, but there's a whole load of them here, and this is a, really quite unusual. You normally see one of these on their own, or, or, or a few maybe, but not this many normally. This is quite an unusual picture, and uh, it's very interesting. And when you zoom in, I mean, it does break up a bit, this image. I will take some clips of, of uh, this and enhance it a bit so you can see that a bit more clearly. And I'll put those in at the end of the video in a minute or two. So that was it, really. I mean, what do you think these are? Are they actually caused by dry ice? Are they caused by boulders? Are they something else? Of course, if they were actual animal tracks or tracks from a vehicle or something, they wouldn't just stop suddenly like this. Um, so they're probably rolling rocks or something. But uh, who knows? I mean, we are only kind of guessing with a lot of this stuff, and uh, NASA guess a lot with a lot of this stuff. But of course, their guesses are taken seriously uh, because they wear white coats and um, went went to college <laughs> and got a PhD in in uh, you know physics or whatever. Uh, so there we have it. Interesting stuff. I mean, we look at the end here; they get really thin and then kind of stop suddenly, like that. Okay. So clips coming up in a second. Thanks for watching everybody. This was a real short and sweet one. Uh, let's have a look at the other image again very quickly and go to that. This is slightly closer up. They are very squiggly and uh, it looks almost like a rock that's kind of rolled down here and, and, and formed quite even patterns as they, as they do it. I don't think these are made by dry ice at all. Why would dry ice um, do that? Uh, <laughs> it's really odd, really odd indeed. So there we have it, answers on the postcard as usual. Leave your comments and witticisms below. Always welcome, of course. Please share on social media and I'll see you soon. Oh, and don't forget to give the thumbs up. See you soon.